some strange happenings tonight. Taking a look at the uh, ComLife heater. Stay tuned. Good evening YouTube, it's 8.47 in the evening, Saturday evening that is. Yes, I'm still wearing my uh, hat, got my glasses on this time. Um, I did get some uh, things in the mail today and I wanted to show you that. Uh, this probably won't be posted until tomorrow, but uh, let's go ahead and do it tonight. Like I said, I'm here, uh, Kylie is here. She got here an oh, hour and a half ago, so maybe something like that. Um, first thing up is this screw holder. Now, you guys heard me talking about it. This is what it looks like. <laughs> I know, there's not much to it. It's a double-ended screw starter, is what they call it. Um, it's, a, it's Phillips and standard, slotted, whatever you want to call it. But, uh, like I said, it, it's uh, something I've been wanting for a while. And uh, I saw it a uh, pretty good price. I think it was 10, a little over maybe 10 something uh, shipped. So that was one of the cheaper ones I'd seen. So I thought I'd try it out and see. And the PS, the PS to resist all, resist, I can't even say it, but you know what I'm sa saying, is the heater. Now, this, right, right away, I'm going to tell you, it's smaller than I thought it would be. I, I don't pay much attention to sizes when I look on something, look at something on the internet and stuff like that. But uh, it just says electric heater, and again, that's what it looks like. So I'm going to switch to the other camera, and we're going to open this up and see what's inside. All right, I think you can see everything's going on here now. Pull this open here. Pull this up. And that goes that way. This goes this way. And it looks like we have a couple of pieces of documentation here. How do I get a free gift? Digital thermometer. Uh, that's nice. Free gift. That's pretty cool. And there is the user manual. Uh, I'm not seeing that. There we go. Now we can see it. There is the uh, user manual. And, uh, well, part of it is in Chinese, but the rest is in English, as you'll see. Uh, I like the idea, or like the fact that they give you an exploded diagram of how things go together and stuff. I really do like that because it really makes it easy when you, uh, something happens, you have to take it apart or whatever. It looks uh, pretty simple, so that's nice. Usage instructions and all that. So there you go with that. That's nice. Uh, let's take out the top piece. And that is a form-fitting piece, obviously. And I see some uh, plastic in here. Let's see if we can get this out in one piece without breaking the bank, as it were. And there is another form-fitting piece in the bottom. So move the box out of the way. And we'll move the plastic. There we go. It's plastic in the box. That's where I always like to keep it. Good spot for it. Well, there's what she looks like. Do not cover. Must be get hot down there. Uh, hot up there, I would say. Well, it's your your uh, controls also. On off mode and swing. So it, it's an oscillating uh, type of fan. I'm gonna plug it in here and we're just gonna try it out real quick. Uh, I don't expect it to. Uh, nice plug protector there on the uh, plug. 
comes right off. It is a uh, uh, polarized plug. And we'll set it back a little ways here and plug it into the wall outlet here. Let me get my camera facing the right way. Alright, there you go. Now that's uh, pretty much it. And I think we're going to press on and see what happens. Nothing. Maybe I didn't press it hard enough. Well, let's, I guess we'll have to read the instructions. Usually, maybe it's a touch. I do have it plugged in. I just want to make sure I had it plugged in. Is there a reset or anything on it? see anything. Master switch. Oh, there's a carrying carrying handle. Right back here. That's nice. Oh, here it is down here. I see it now. There is a switch on here. Alright, got it on now. Let's see if it works. Oh, yeah. Works real good. I feel the heat. Alright, that's just apparently... Um, Wow, that gets warm quick. Let's swing it around and see what that happens there. Oh yeah, look at there. That is a, basically a touch type of uh, control. So nice, I like that. Really puts out the heat. Nice and warm. I like warm. All right, let's turn that off. See what the mode does. Okay, that turns it down. Might be turning it down, but man, I still feel that heat. This is a really nice little heater. It goes back up. Looks like there's two speeds, low and high. Oh, there's three speeds. Alright, I think that's more of a fan type. I can, I'm telling by the lights uh, dimming, and they got brighter when I switched this last one. So that's that's uh, less heat, so I would say that's probably the uh, uh, less wattage setting. So again, it, I could read the instructions, but you know men don't do that. Um, <laughs> most men, anyway. Um, Got to say, the initial impression is very, very good. Um, it's putting out uh, warm air, I would say. Let's, uh, I got the heater, the heater, <laughs> the uh, temperature uh, kind of thing here. Oops. 119, 118. Now up here. It's 92, 94. Let's see what the bottom is. Well, it's about the same down there. It's just here in the middle, it seems to be the warm spot. Apparently, that's where the heat comes from. So, yeah. This is mostly fan down here. This is heat. I can feel a little heat. And this is, this is mostly fan up here. So, heat must be right in the middle. So, let's go for a different mode. I don't know what this one is, but it's the uh, light dimmed just a little bit, so I'm assuming it's, yeah, I can feel the heat now. Let's see what we got now. 126, 130, 133, 135, 140. Turn to the top. Yeah, the heating element is obviously in the middle. So it's looked like it's topping out at about 175, well, 180 now. Down to bottom again, just sand. 200 now. Yeah, that gets really warm in a hurry. Let's turn it down again. Okay, that's low, but that's the heat. It's pretty much the same because you can see we have a 225, 28, 30. So you get the same heat, but you get a lower fan setting. Let's go back for this one. 
this is back to our uh, mostly fan lower wattage I guess that's uh, coming down now a little bit yep so all those seem to work really good and again the uh, I like that that is nice touch control that is really nice I am impressed so far I've had a lot of different heaters in the past this one really puts out a lot of heat for the size of it and uh, I will do uh, more more testing on this uh, probably over the weekend now there are supposed to be some colder days coming up so I may take this to the living room and uh, just sit it there near my chair and keep it on my feet uh, I like a, I like a nice foot warmer That's, that'd be nice but I like I said I am uh, my initial impression is good very good uh, it has a little odor to it as far as uh, you know new or new new type odor uh, anytime you have a heating appliance there's going to be a little odor to it because of you know when it heats up it's going to be melting things around it or not melting but you know what I mean it's heats them up they uh, put off a little odor not bad though all in all it's a nice little heater I am very pleased with it I'm going to stop it when it gets into the middle here Oops. And that's it. That's pretty much the demonstration of it. It cools down. It's got the uh, fan running. I like that. I just shut off. I just heard it. Yep, that is nice. Very nice good like I say initials impressions are really good on this and uh, I will uh, give it another try um, probably tomorrow maybe so like I say so far so good big thumbs up on this and uh, this is a decent little heater especially for the price I, I like I said I bought heaters in the past more expensive heaters and uh, they don't work as good as this one so that has to be a, a plus two so again longevity now I I told this to my uh, YouTube crowd before that I probably will come back on and do a follow-up sometime in the future this is basically the beginning of the heating season here so uh, I will give you another report at the end of the heating season sometime in the spring on uh, basically how well this has held up if it's kept working if uh, all the functions still work and things like that I think that would be a fair fair uh, review of it and uh, I will do an initial review I promised the uh, calm life people that I would do that and I will again as I said come back in the spring and do a follow-up and I think if it's still working good then I think we can call it a success and uh, so We'll, we'll come back a little bit later and do another segment on this, so we'll talk to you later. I know you have seen the uh, first part of the uh, review on the uh, Comlife uh, ceramic heater. Um, impressive. I, I like it. Uh, not just because it was free, it's a good little heater. Um, I'm pleased with it so far and uh, I'm going to do some more testing with it tomorrow and before I write the review I want to put it through its paces a little bit better I, I just did a really short one here uh, but uh, I will put it in the living room and let it sit there and warm me up during the day actually the the worst time in here is in the morning I uh, I have uh, my I turn my house down to around 60 degrees at night so far uh, this, this season it has only gotten down around 65 is the lowest it's actually gotten overnight uh, so you know I have a, a heated blanket or electric blanket on my bed so I don't worry about it but now Kylie is spending a couple days with me so I'm gonna leave it in the living room just in case she needs it um, but uh, like I said it will be uh, I'll be able to test it a little bit better uh, with it running most of the day you know and uh, I wanted to get a kilowatt to, to run on it, but I don't have one, and uh, I'm going to get one of these one of these days. I keep keep meaning to get one. Every time I have a little money, extra money, I think, oh, I ought to get one of those, and then something else comes up. You know how that works. So, uh, 
anyway, that's going to do me for this evening. You guys have a wonderful evening. It's 9.03 now, and uh, I will talk to you later, and uh, we will see ya. Thanks for watching.